Hey, happy Thanksgiving and welcome back to The Walk. So far on this walk, we've been talking about how our culture and our society really doesn't do much to celebrate Thanksgiving, even though we're given a national holiday to do it. And even when we do, as a society, think about Thanksgiving, the focus tends to be on the big meal that we're gonna eat. And a lot of folks don't get that excited because, you know, as proteins go, turkey isn't really at the top of a lot of people's lists. Honestly, the meal should not be the focus of Thanksgiving. There's nothing about stuffing our faces that correlates with being thankful. What should we do? Well, the scriptures in Psalm 100, I think, give us some real insight. On your feet now, applaud God. Bring a gift of laughter. Sing yourselves into his presence. Enter with the password, thank you. Make yourselves at home, talking praise. Thank him, worship him. For God is sheer beauty, all generous in love, loyal always and ever. You know, the walk is all about giving us a resource to help us do life with God in relationship. We talk about that all the time. And really what that means is we as human beings reorientate our focus off of it all being about ourselves and onto God. We let Him be the focus. We let Him be the center of our existence. We let Him call the shots. This passage offers us a sort of poetic encouragement to consider how when we've done that, when we've walked in relationship with Him, when we've let Him call the shots, how good things have happened and transpired. And we should recall them. We should remember them. One of the great blessings that God gives to us are our memories. On this Thanksgiving, nothing would be better than to turn off the TV, push back from the table, put down the phone, and and reflect back, remember back on some of the good things that God has done for you over the course of your life. Think about the kind of blessings that he's given you, like his love, like his grace. Think about the ways that he has affirmed who you are. Think about the ways that he has given you providence. The whole point of worshiping God this way is to offer up to him a tangible expression of thanksgiving. You tell him by doing this that you are remembering what he has done and you're thankful for it. What happens when you do this? Well, it's not going to make your turkey taste any better, I'll admit that. But it will begin to transform your feelings and make you more joyful. And this is powerful no matter what, but it's also a really great anecdote for when you're not feeling very thankful, for when you're not sure that you've been blessed very much. Have you maybe lost something this year? Maybe you've lost somebody who was close to you. You know, it is totally healthy to grieve and to miss them, but it is joyful to remember how much they added to your life and to be grateful for what you had with them. Have you encountered financial troubles this year? Well, reflect not on what you don't have, but think about all that you still do. Are you going to spend Thanksgiving this year without any family or friends? Well, remember that you are never truly alone. God is there with you. When you stop thinking about the negatives and you focus in on the positives and you thank God for them, you know, you're worshiping Him. Take this Thanksgiving to make the blessings more pronounced and it will change your feelings into real joy and it will be a worshipful gift given back to God.